This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7 and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God, and evil and only evil, behold, is come. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash, Brachdam, to use aquanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. You know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and the election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai, Ban Yashallah, and this be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. On this article, I came across after watching. You know, some of the um, elders' video, the elder down there in Cali, all right, Mawatazak, all right, and um, the article is going into the acceleration of the zombie cells in the human brain, all right, ultimately, do, they're saying it's due to this, uh, to the C uno nueve, all right, the C to the O to the V to the I to the D, 19, all right, these are more wiles of the devil, more his trickery and deceit, because... They have been throwing that word, you know, zombie around ever since this whole um, pandemic popped off back in 2020. Okay. Movies like I Am Legend started surfacing on Netflix, Hulu. All right. TV shows like Black Summer was made and released. Okay. They came out with a show called um, Songbird, different things of that nature. Um, what else? The Walking Dead, you know, that's been out. It was something. Oh, um, The Army of the Dead, that came out. Hashtag Alive, all right, the Korean one, you see? And um, and those are just TV shows and, and movies. And we know Esau deals with the revelation of the method, okay, where he basically shows you either false or true information and whether that information is actually false or true they feel like they're justified in it because they told you it before they, they brought it forth all right and they now they get to mock you okay so they basically mimicking the right hand side but they're doing it on a sinister left hand side mindset okay because what the most high does through the prophets is tell you the truth tell you what you're about to bring all right upon this earth unless you repent you see, so you get you get that warning first and foremost, right? But Esau, he will give you false information, all right, and then that turns out to be true, or you give you information that sounds true and it ends up being false, all right? Because he's a he's a left hand demon, all right. But in any event, all right, uh, ever since twenty twenty, all right, twenty twenty one, when he was really pushing the jump shot heavy. All right, and a lot of people, I believe like 66%, all right, which is two third, took it. All right, and people got, you know, unalive suddenly, heart attacks, blood clots, all right. And um, since then, they were talking about disease X, all right, a, myster a mysterious disease. They're talking about um, a zombie virus thawing out, all right. Now they're talking about how. You know, uh, due to this virus, they calling the uh, C Uno, Nueve, they saying it could accelerate zombie cells in the human brain, which deals with aging and things of that nature. But we 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 see right. Let's get a precept. All right, we see right through this devil. Look at the book of um Second Corinthians two and eleven, and it reads. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We are not ignorant of his devices. We literally see right through this man, all right? Because everything Esau of Edom is doing is under the vibration of the spiritual demon Satan. All right? Everything on the left-hand side, all right? Everything in wickedness, all right? So we can't be ignorant of anything, whether it be small or great, 
All right, we see we see his plans. All right, so um, all right, let's read this in GNTD. Second Corinthians two and eleven in the GNTD version. It says, "In order to keep Satan from getting the upper hand over us, for we know what his plans are." Man, <laughs> come on, we know his plans. All right, we're not ignorant. You see, and we already know evil times are coming, and you know, brothers been having dreams of you know zombies, man. All right, back to back dreams of zombies. All right, and vivid dreams, you know, of a post a post apocalyptic world, a world filled with chaos and um and evil, and zombies running to and fro, people insane, you know, murdering other people for for the sport of it, you know. So let's read some of this article. Okay. Read some of this article, then get some more precepts, and not be the lesson none too long. So I'm straight to the point. So it says, this is from the Egg Park Health, and it came on November 24th, 2023. This came out on uh was it yesterday? Uh, no, no, no. Friday, right? So it says C O V I D, right? Accelerates zombie cells and brain study says. Let's read it. It says the C on the web is accelerating the uh, accumulation of uh, senescence or zombie cells in the brain. Which look that word up very fast. Senescence. All right, let's look it up. All right, you had to go into Aiden. So, uh, uh, senescence, right? Yeah, senescence. It says, or biological aging is the gradual uh, deterioration of functional characteristics in living organisms. All right. The word senescence can refer to either cellular senescence or to the senescence of the whole organism. Organism, uh, organism, when I say that, organismal senescence involves an increase in death rates and such or de decrease in um, uh, facility with increasing aging. And at least in a later part of the organism life cycle, it can't, but it can be delayed, right? There'll be more article. So it says, the seat on the web is accelerating the accumulation of senescent or zombie cells in the brain. Like brothers been saying, they keep throwing this word zombie around. All right. That's part of their um, programming. That's part of them um, basically throwing that word into your subconscious. All right. Whether you, you know, you read, buy it, whatever. Okay, zombie cells. Okay, uh, it's going to this. Or you really look into it. Why do I keep mentioning the zombies? Is that something? You know, because revelation of the method. All right. They've been planning this. This is because you got to realize Esau put technology in people when he took that jump shot. All right. All type of different things is inside of people. And not too long ago, October 4th. All right. They gave the um the national alert. But it was also rumored. All right. That uh, that was a day. That they was gonna release certain things within the human body of those that took the um, Vanessa, okay. So whether it's happening gradually as we speak, and I'm doing this lesson, you brothers, sisters, listen to the lesson, all right. Or they're getting ready to do it, you know, uh, uh, like, like release it in like one certain day. We'll see, all right. But we know that day October fourth was still significant, all right, with the national alert which went off on everyone's phone. You see, and also the um. Uh, information was coming out of how basically it, you know they're going to release that post to uh, release that um, that frequency all right that will basically um bring out the uh, the um what's it called I, I think like they said 18 gigahertz three times per minute all right to release the um, nanoparticles all right, the, basically to release the thing within them, all right, to get straight to the point with it. And the dude said they're going to turn these poor people into zombies. You see? So as we know, it says, which accumulate naturally and gradually in the brain with aging, according to the new study from the University of Queensland. All right, it says the researchers use brain uh, organoids, many brains artificially grown from human stem cells to study this effect. They discovered that SARS-CoV-2, the virus called the CO and the infects the brain, triggering cellular senescence, a process that causes premature aging of the brain. Senescent 
cells are known to drive tissue information and de uh, degeneration, leaving patients exposed to cognitive impairments like brain fog and memory loss, lead researcher Julio Aguado said. Right? Brain fog refers to the loss of the ability to concentrate or remember issues thinking and feeling of drowsiness. Now, let's read on. Brain cell fusion, a study published in Science Advances earlier this year, also found that SARS led to the fusion of brain cells, which can result in the chronic symptoms in the nervous system. We discovered C. Onanawebe causes new neurons to undergo a cell fusion process, and once neurons fuse, they don't die, said um, Maz, uh, Mazimo Hiller, a professor of uh, molecular and uh, cellular Neurobi uh, neurobiology at the University of Queensland. They either start firing um, synchronously or stop functioning altogether. The research said that the novel mechanism may explain the neuropsychiatric uh, syndromes associated with the early stages seen on the web and the persistence of system, uh, symptoms in long seen on the web. Now, the Vanessa fog. All right, the, the max to the E, you see, jump shot, the juice, all right, the J-A-B. It says, people, right, people who have never had C on the Wivy but have received doses of the C on the Wivy, Vanessa, have also reported symptoms of brain fog, headaches, and memory problems. Because that thing was a technology they put in you, they put the thing in you, all right. It says, since SARS seen on the Wivy can induce various types of brain damage, the Vanessa's which contains synthetic M, R, to the N, to the A. That's changing your DNA. It says, based on the virus's genetic sequence, might have similar effects, explained Dr. Yu Hong Dong, an infectious disease and, um, and uh, antiviral drug uh, development expert. It says, she emphasized the self repair ability of the human body, recommending that the three best ways to repair brain injuries whether it be from Vanessa's or Sina Levy, or to control the intake of sugary foods, uh, prioritize high quality sleep, and maintain a healthy um, attitude. All right, it says, uh, da -da -da. All right. the human body is a sophisticated, complex, self maintaining and repairing system created by God, she said. All right. It says, it has its own rules of operation and has the ability to protect itself from foreign viruses. It has the ability to self recover under the endorsement of disease. Now, Right here. Therapies to target zombie cells. I said, in addition, Mr. Um, Aguada research team has developed new therapies to target senescent cells specifically to identify four drugs that can eliminate these zombie cells. All right. Which um, the Vitoclax, ABT 737, uh, Feistin, and a cocktail of uh, Daz uh, Dazatanib plus uh, Corsetin. DQ, right? Lowell and I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, it's lucky. It says, Mr. Aguado said the drugs rejuvenated the brain and decreased the chance of neurodegenerative uh, degenerative symptoms in the uh, organoids as well as in mouse model affected with seen the right? But let me scroll down. That was about it. I'm about to read. Well, actually, I damn near read the whole article already. But that was the main point, okay? They're talking about how this uh, disease is virus. All right, that ESO release accelerates the zombie cells in the brain. All right, basically meaning that they want to throw that word around a lot. And um, let me see, so like, uh, right, here. when it says, and once neurons fuse, they don't die. That's where they get the old zombie thing from. All right, so they're talking about the cell fusion process, and once the neurons fuse, they just don't die. You see, creating thus the the the, the zombie cell. You know, so we gotta stay on our watch, man. This <laughs> that was he's sinister. Okay, this man is sinister. Let me look something up right quick. Let me get some articles. I mean, articles on precepts, and not be the lesson, none too long. All right. Let me see. Uh, Salakia. All right. This is you know quick update news. All right. Yeah, so they call it sinister cells turn undead with aging and stress. You know, so those cells basically turn undead, meaning they'll never die with aging and stress. So they call it, that's what they call it, the zombie cell. 
you know. But I already mentioned earlier other things that um they've been talking about disease X and zombie viruses and all the, they've been throwing that word around. All right, on top of that, brother's been having dreams, man, of this thing getting that bad. So we know something soon is about to go down, very sinister and and and, and evil. Because that's the time we come into. So look at the precepts. Right, we're gonna get the book of um Ephesians, all right, chapter six, and the verse ten it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. So in these last days, man, we gotta be strong in Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of Yahweh. That's his full truth, man. All right, that's his that's the spirit, the word, all right, faith, okay, the uh, the belief and confidence and salvation. All right, you gotta put on the whole armor. All right, of the Most High God, Yahweh through His Son, Yahweh Shai, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So, these are just more of his wiles, his trickery, his deceit. All right, because he keep throwing his word around, and we know our enemy, we know his plans. This man is he's sinister. All right, so they, they basically telling you that we about to release something, man. Basically, all right, and the different cells in your body is already mutated due to the mRNA. All right, the well, the video stays up. I'm not a medical doctor. But if you know in verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, the earth begins to handle the wicked. And you saw us playing it out in physical sense. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of the most high, that ye may be able to withstand an evil day and have it done all to stand. All right? Because the evil day is here. All right? Let's get Ephesians 5 15. It says, See then that you all circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. So, redeeming means to buy back. But you gotta, you know, you gotta make basically meaning what? Make good use of your time. What man of persons all you to be in all holy conversation and righteousness and godliness? All right, because we have some evil days. So you gotta be repentant, praying, fasting, building your spirit up for the time, and putting on our armor. All right, walking wisely in these last days, understanding what the will of the Lord. Let's read it, verse seventeen. Wherefore be not the Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So understand what the will of the Most High is, man. All right? Which is ultimately believing on the Son Yahweh Shai, serving Him through the Son Yahweh Shai. So back to Ephesians 6, we have verse um, 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with, with truth, and having on a breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shut with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, because we're going to need faith in these days, man. That's how bad it's going to get. All right, we're going to need faith in these times, man. Okay, <laughs> can't get around that. Without faith, people will be out here bugging. And I'm going to get some precepts on that next. It says, What if you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. All right, let's get the book of um, Second Edges. I'm just rolling through the Spirit. Second Edges chapter 5. In verse 1, nevertheless, as come in the tokens and signs, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden. So, this truth that we're spreading right now is not going to be out here forever. All right, it's for a set time. All right, then the most I can remove his men, his prophets, and also remove the videos. All right, and all of that, man. And the only thing people going to have is their Bible that have been on the, um, the nightstand collecting dust for decades. They're going to try to open it and read it and see what's going on. They're going to try to look for the prophets. I remember those videos. I remember I used to walk by these guys and, and they used to, you know, always go into the scriptures. I'm going to go find, try to find them. Oh, they're not here right now. What can I find them? Right? The way of truth is going to be hidden, man. All right? And the land shall be barren of faith. You see? So the whole land, all right, is going to be barren of faith. Like the Lord Yahweh Shah said, what? When he returns, he found faith on the earth. And he willing his elect, but ultimately no planet Earth is gonna be in a state of this chaos and insanity. All right. I'm about to get um another one and um let me see. Let's read this in the GNTD. I like this translation. Second Edges five and verse one in the GNTD it says, But these are the signs. The time will come when all people on earth will be in the in the grip of great confusion. You see? It says the way of truth will be hidden and no faith will be left in the land. So people can be bugging, man. It says wickedness will increase until it has become worse than you have ever known it to be, man. Wickedness, iniquity, sin upon sin is going to increase, man. You see? And people can be out here bugging with no faith. 
That's another thing too that the people that took the Vanessa, they they got their V mat too, their God gene removed. All right, the gene in your in your on um, your brain that makes you believe in a higher power. All right, they they basically shot it, <laughs> and they practiced that against these um um Muslims. All right, going back to around like the early two thousands. All right, so they perfected it. You know. So we in some we in some times, man. I don't think people realize this. Look at the book of um Matthew. All right, Matthew chapter twenty four. And these are the signs the Lord Yahweh Shai gave, right? Twenty four. We're gonna jump down though to the point that I want. All right, verse twelve. And because iniquity shall abound, which is wickedness, sin upon sin. The love of many shall wax cold, all right? Because evil upon evil is abounding upon the planet Earth. So the love of many going to wax cold. The word for cold in the Greek is literally psycho, all right? People going to go, what, insane, you see? These are the times that we in, you know? Let's jump down to verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation. In this chapter, it goes into 70 A.D., 66 to 70 AD, and it also goes into future prophecy because we go towards the end of the chapter, it goes to his return. All right, so we're in that time now. So, this man, majority is going to take place in our time. All right, double, uh, twofold, double fold. Matthew 24, verse 21 For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever shall be. So, we know time. Like the time that's coming, man. So that's why these things that may sound far fetched, you gotta re you gotta really re uh, remember that these devils have these you know sinister plans, and they have uh, the technology to uh, bring it forth, right? They literally have a whole building to control diseases, all right? They test diseases on animals and even people, but they don't show that to the public. What they doing to the people? But they test these different things, man. You you best believe they already got these people bugging out trying to bite and eat people. In, in the lab somewhere, man. All right? This this man is a fucking demon. Okay? Esau, a, he's a demon. He's a he's a mad scientist. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Frankenstein's. Okay? Which Frankenstein was a creation, but I forgot the scientist's name that created that monster in that movie. <laughs> All right? This, that's Esau, man. That's the white man for you. You see? They're sinister. They, they're evil by nature. So they about to release some crazy things that you may be like, oh, that's just a movie. This is a TV show. Revelation of the Method, you idiot. They're going to mock you now when they bring it. Like, oh, we showed you. You thought, it was, you thought it was just a TV show. A lot of people, that's why through the spirit, we're able to filter everything through the scriptures. Do we understand the scriptures literally going to this time like never before? That was never before seen when they, when they, if they released these, you know, these, uh, these night crawlers. Okay? So... Yeah, man. Evil times are coming, man. Now, I just want to do something quick, you know, going to that. But I'm going to get one more to add balance, you know, for the hopeful elect. You brothers out there that believe in y'all about Shemel Chai. Let's get the book of, um, there's so many I could get. Let's get Second Edges, right? Chapter 16, right? In verse 71. No, 74. Here, or you my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay? So the days of trouble are at hand, but he said, I'm going to deliver you, man. So we got to keep the faith and keep, you know, patience in the most high God, Yahweh, and the son, Yahweh, Shai. And we got to endure to the light of intimate, go call the election short. Let's, let's read over verse 75 through 76. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide, and the guide of them will keep my commandments and precepts, say the Lord power. Right? Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquity lift up themselves. So, the most I know is you're going to fall short with mistakes, but don't let that weigh you down. Keep believing and keep, you know, rising back up. All right. Don't be afraid or doubt because he's going to guide us in these times. All right. And those that keep his commandments and precepts. And that's, that's, that's us. Start the power of elders on down. We're, we're trying our best through the spirit. Once we heard the word, we heard this calling. We took heed, man. We pressing towards the, the mark or the prize of the high calling. Because we know there's a lot of benefits that come with this as well. All right. This is that treasure that's hidden in the field. You see? And we know um, the ultimate treasure is the ultimate deliverance and salvation. And that's what we're striving for, man. Okay? But, so quick, I just want to read that article. 
you know, these devils, they got their plans. They say, who going to see them? That's in Second Nerdist, not Second Nerdist, that's in Psalm 64 and verse 5, right? You know, Ezekiel 7 goes into um, reading the context, going to our people back then, but we can apply it to today, how evil is coming, all right? Nothing but evil is coming, you see? So the acceleration of the zombie cells and the human brain, the wiles of the devil, man. So with that, let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rechak, Kudaj, the Bahana, to the apostles and elders of great most own peace and salutation to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. With that, I'm Shalom. Ba 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 ba, Shalom.